comer. Up through Pound and Bridge now. Dilly do, dilly do, dilly do. Up through the main street. Nick dragged me all the way up here, Nick. Foxy, Adventures of Fox. Just to go in there. The oldest toffee shop in Paintley Bridge. Unreal. Oldest toffee shop in Paintley Bridge. And apparently, it's the oldest toffee shop in the world. <laughs> Nick was just uh, telling me I left my indicators on. I'm not sure I had, but I hadn't. I've noticed I've done that a couple of times. Is when I turn it off, it comes back on again. Because as I turn it off, I press it to the right. Because I've noticed when I'm turning left, sometimes I press it off and it goes to the right. That's nothing to do with the bike, it's to do with my thumb. It needs re-greasing, it's 70 years old and never had any grease on it. Well, I've had a bit of grease on it, haven't I? Well, Christmas Day, turkey grease. On his way back to uh, Route 59, had a lovely uh, scone there. <clears throat> Butter tea and a scone. And um, my favourite scone uh, that I like are oh, ones that my wife makes with cheese. Either feta cheese, they're nice, or cheddar cheese. And it's hard to decide which is the best, but you know. But there, they had. I'm on for Mrs. Mrs. Ainsworth now, I think. Cheddar cheese and bacon. Yeah, no, you know, just chopped up bacon mixed in with it. A winner. Delicious. So I'll say this for a fact, that when you go riding with, <laughs> with Foxy, you don't go hungry, which I'm not complaining about, very nice. I'll go riding some with some really, really, really good friends, uh, uh, but sometimes we go all day and only have a banana. <laughs> If you look at <laughs> Nick cut for that bloody big pole then. I hope he's took his camera off the back. Well I know he has. But he's been telling me how he's lost two cameras off the back of his bike on, isn't he? That's a day do, 130 pound a throw. 
<laughs> and that's what it lets raise. 130 pound of throw. Oh, we've got fast lad. Watch out, Nick. There's a nutter coming past. So that. What car was there? No need for him to come in. No need for him to come past us. Nick won't go past, but I'd go past now. <laughs> to the, to the, night, the light. I thought I was going to have to scrape you up then. What a absolute gobshite. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't have got that far. I was going to go to the front of the queue. <laughs> I think it's a shame. Do 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 And there we go Dakar Banks D A C R E Dakar Banks Oh the new bills You know them houses on the right had a great view <laughs> Now they've got new bills. I wonder if they were compensated adequate for that. But it took a hell of a lot of money after the house. Plus, people that don't want to move are stuck there looking at a house instead of a that over there to my left, which you won't, you can't see. So Dakar, you're very nice. I'm not against new bills, I've lived in three. I like being the first person in the house. There's something nice knowing there's no history before you. But then again, it's nice being in the house and thinking, I wonder who lived here before. So, it's, it's when win or lose, whichever way you look at it, innit? Hotly! Now we're in Das. Daka Das. They're all named, they're living off the same. It's nice being taken round by someone that knows the way. I'm going with you, Nick. Told you. Going with you. Uh, so about... Uh, 12 miles to a... What's left than that, innit? For the blue! Are we ready for one? Oh, yeah. Just have a look, I've uh, gone past a thousand miles. Yeah! One thousand! 
There's something to it in fact. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Well, uh, Kawasaki Z1400 just passed us, didn't wave, he's got 1050 cc's more than me, 1050 more than me, but the face not having as much fun, no. I do like the 59. Not, I love the calf, but I mean the road. <laughs> Look at that. Little garage there. I mean, what's not to like about this road? Sports bike, heaven, this. My BSA Lightning would have loved this road and so would I when I was uh, 19 I was 19 when I had that Can you imagine it when the big fella, you know he made this I reckon he was having an ice cream <laughs> and he was scooping it out with his spoon I reckon it was vanilla And he ate too much and he had loads left but it had a this part this is where it landslides and all that. Nick was telling us. I told him to repair it with trees. It could have cost billion billions for him to do it. It's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, the big fellow is he in his ice cream and he, he got full and he left it here and he thought I'll leave that, it's nice. I've made a nice little pattern. Loads of valleys. Hills, a couple of mountains, and uh, I leave that, and, and trees and grass and ferns and things will grow on it. And in about a million years, we'll have dinosaurs coming on and walking over it. And in a few hundred thousand years after that, We'll have a fella called Man. He'll come along. <laughs> and we've a, a few thousand years. He'll erect the place. And then it'll go back to be in the wilderness. And trees and grass and stuff like that will start growing again. Oh, we're having a stop at a photograph. Hi, that'll all start again. Only this time, big fella up there, I don't think we're not having any of them, them idiots again. Oops. <laughs> I thought it was going to the end. Hi, that's what'll happen. Where did, where did the send the landslide? I figured that out, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, nothing like what I was telling you about mine. <laughs> the more trees.
Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I haven't talked to anything, have we, for him? Hey. Go talk to the tree. See that there? That is the only tree in Yorkshire and it's a bush. 